Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 257. Power Pages Security versus Dataverse Security, Row Permissions. In our last tip, I talked about how Dataverse uses security roles to provide permissions to users, and Power Pages uses web roles. In this tip, I'm going to look at how Dataverse and Power Pages control access to individual rows in the database. The primary security model for rows in Dataverse is based on row ownership and business units. Users' permissions specify whether they can create, read, edit, or delete rows based on who the owner of the row is. For example, perhaps they can delete rows that they own, or perhaps they can only read rows owned by someone in their same business unit. On the other hand, table permissions in Power Pages are based on if a row is somehow, even indirectly, related to the contact row of the currently logged in user. So, for example, if looking at a list of cases, a user might only be able to see cases that are associated to its parent account. So Dataverse uses row ownership, while Power Pages uses association to the logged in contact. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 257 on Power Pages security versus Dataverse security, row permissions, useful.